How do you convert a stereo track into a mono track here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you. Let's go. So GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad defaults to stereo on every track. Now, this is very cool most of the time, but what if you want to actually turn that stereo track into a mono track, meaning you've got the same on the left and the right so that you can pan your instruments around your stereo space? Well, that's what we're going to show in this video with the help of a little app called Voice Record 7. Here's the project that we have together at the moment. It sounds like this. And what you'll probably notice is by default, a lot of instruments like your pianos and your organs and your drums will actually have a stereo panning going on here. Now this is kind of cool most of the time, except when you don't want it. So let's take this organ for instance. If we come back to the start here, as I play this, watch the little lines here. We've got one, the top one there is your left channel and the bottom one is your right channel. And you'll see what happens here. So can you see there that when I'm playing a higher note or when it's playing back a higher note, it's on the right channel and a lower note's on the left. Now that's deliberate and that's kind of cool because it gives you that nice stereo effect. And the same is for your piano and for drums. It'll actually put the different drums in the different parts of the stereo field. If you don't want that though, and you want it to be mono, there's no way right here in GarageBand to do that. However, what we can actually do is if we solo one of these tracks, let's use the organ to start with. We solo the organ and we export this as a WAV file, we can use voice record 7 to convert it from stereo to mono. Let's do that now. So with the track soloed, we're going to go out by tapping in the top left corner here. Here is the name of my project. I'm just going to tap and hold on this one. And then I'm going to go down to share. I'm going to share this as a song file and I'm going to share it as uncompressed wave, the highest quality that I can. And then hit the share button here in the top right corner. It's then going to go away and ask me where I'd like to share it to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit this open in button first. And this is going to export the song and then ask me where I'd like to export it to. So it'll just take a, you know, a couple of seconds here, up to a minute, depends on the length of your song, and there we go. Now we can actually choose where we want to export it to. Now one place that I use a lot is Audio Share. That has a great converter and can convert from stereo to mono, but it is a paid app. So if we want a free way to do this, if we scroll across the top here and we go to more, there is actually an app called Voice Record 7. If we scroll on down and look for it, it's a little yellow icon. Can we find it? There it is. We're going to tap on Voice Record 7. There you go. File, mono test has been imported into the library. So it's going to pop your file right here into the library. If we tap on that one, we can play it. And stop it there. But you'll notice that we've also got a whole bunch of options here. And this app is free and it works on your iPhone or your iPad. You'll notice that there's just a few little ads down the bottom there that you have to, uh, you have to endure, but they're not too in intrusive. Now, if we scroll on down here, what we want to do is look for the advanced converter. So we're going to tap on advanced converter and this will bring up this screen. Now your preset, you want to start with convert to wave because we don't want to lose any quality here. So we want this to be convert to wave. It's going to choose wave PCM there. Settings, now we can either match the source or we can do what we want to do here by hitting this plus button. It goes to our manual settings. What you want to do is keep your sample rate the same. You want to make sure your bit depth is 24 bit because that's what we've exported from GarageBand. And then this is the important one, channels. Stereo, we want this to be mono. So what this is going to do, it's going to take your left and your right channel and it's going to sum those down so that both on the left and the right you have the exact same audio, thus uh, creating a mono file. So we're going to hit the convert button in the top right corner here. It does its conversion. It's pretty quick as you can see there and it's opened up our new file. We hit OK. Okay, and if we go back, you can see here we've got two files now. We've got MonoTest, our original, and we've got MonoTest 001. So this is the file now that we want to bring back into GarageBand. How do we do that? Let's show you that now. The easiest way to get this done is to simply tap on our file here and scroll on down until we get to this one here, Activities and AirDrop. We're going to tap on that one, and then we're going to tap Audio. So this is going to export this audio. This should look pretty familiar to you. What we want to do is scroll on down now and tap on Save to File so that we can save this back. And the place that I recommend saving it to, to make it easy for you, 
is the on my iPad or on my iPhone location and your GarageBand for iOS GarageBand file transfer folder. This will put it right in the spot where you can import back into GarageBand. So we'll tap that one, we'll hit save. That is now done. Let's jump back over to GarageBand now and bring this file back into our project. So we'll swipe up here, we'll jump back over here to GarageBand. We can just hit done on that one because it's still going to have our export that we were doing before. But now we can go back into this mono test project. And what do you see? Yep, lo and behold, we've got a little number up here because we've added a new loop. Now, now, you will notice when we import this that you do lose your MIDI information. So if you're using a MIDI instrument, because we're exporting and re-importing a file, it's just going to be a WAV file. So make sure you don't want to make any further changes to your instrument or to your MIDI notes before you do this process. Let's now tap on the loop icon, and here you go. We've got both mono test that we sent out, and we've got mono test 01 that we've brought in. So this is the one we want, the mono test 01. We'll tap and hold it and drag it into our project, and boom, there it is. So if we compare this, here's our original organ with our stereo sound. And now this is the organ that we've actually brought in here with our mono sound. And what you'll notice there is that you can see that the two channels, the left and the right, are at exactly the same level all the time because it has actually brought that together. And what you'll also notice is that the reason this is cool is that even with a stereo track like this, if we try to pan this all the way to the left, you'll notice that it'll still have some little hints in the right. That's because if there's anything like a stereo uh, delay or a stereo uh, effect that's on here, it's gonna bounce it around a little bit. So if we wanted this all the way to the left, you're still hearing a little bit of that reverb happening in the right. Whereas if we compare that to this track here, and we pan it all the way to the left, what you'll notice is it is all 100% on the left, not coming to the right channel at all. So that means that we can start panning things into different places and know that they're not going to bounce across into the other channel. The other thing you may have noticed here is it will increase the volume. GarageBand does something called auto normalization. So when you do this process, it will increase the volume and uh, that just means that you need to turn the track down when you've actually imported it into your project. Let's do this one more time just to show you how quick it is. If we'll do the piano this time, here's our classical grand. We'll solo that and we'll exit out here. We'll do the same thing again. We're gonna tap and hold on this one and we're gonna go to the share button here. We're gonna share it as a song and an uncompressed wave. We'll wait for that one to pop up here. We're gonna hit open in. It's gonna export our song. Once it's finished exporting, we're going to choose where we want to send it. And I'm actually gonna show you how we can set up Voice Record 7 as a shortcut so that it goes there every time. If we come over to here, like we did last time and we tap on more, then what we can actually do is see our suggestions down here. We can actually to use the edit button here and we can add these as a shortcut. So if we tap on the plus button there next to voice record seven, look what happens. It puts it up here and we can even drag it up and make it our very first thing so that when we're sharing a file, it will always go there. Let's hit done on that one and we'll choose voice record seven. This should look familiar. It's opened that one up. We're gonna go down to our advanced converter down here. We're gonna once again tap convert to WAV file and we're gonna go the plus button and we're gonna make it 24 bit and we're gonna make it mono. Now I wanna show you one more thing here. You can save this as a preset. So if we tap the save button here, we can actually call this stereo to mono. And guess what? We don't need to do all that every time because now under our presets, we've actually got our stereo to mono preset. So if you ever wanna use this again, you don't have to go through all those changes. It's already set for you. Let's hit convert. It's gonna convert that file. It is done. And we'll just make sure that we're in the right file here. Yep. Mono test 002 this time, the, the new file that we've got there. We're going to go back. Let's go to our activities and airdrop as we did before. We'll tap on that one. We'll hit audio. We'll bring it up here. And once again, we're going to save it to our files. Now, uh, it's going to take us back to uh, our iCloud, but we want to go on my iPad and we want to go to our GarageBand for iOS file transfer folder. Hit save. And that is done. Let's jump back over to GarageBand, bring it back in back into GarageBand, hit the done button there and tap off of that one, go back into our mono test and then back into our loops. And yep, you guessed it, we got this here again. So we're gonna tap and drag this one in here. And now we've got our piano in there. Once again, we'll have to turn it down. Let's just solo these two now and uh, we can start mixing these in to our track. But what we want, so say we wanted to do this, we wanted our organ to be panned to the left and we want our piano panned 100% to the right. Let's play these now.
there you have it. If you've ever wanted that full stereo separation, you've wanted the ability to make a track mono in GarageBand where it only allows stereo, this is a great way to do it. And it's 100% free with the Voice Record 7 app.